Hello, I'm Emperor Pigeon, and this particular photo is what you would have seen if you had attended the Late Break Show tour in Manchester. This is the left of that view, and this is the right of that view. And now, on with the video. We spaced the cars out in a sort of COVID-friendly way, um, so hopefully you will appreciate that. Um, Obviously the show, the point of the show was always to try and bring to life the, the channel, uh, the, the YouTube channel, so it's every playlist kind of is, is here in, in physical form. And we, this is our first indoor event, so uh, it doesn't matter if it rains, because it's all indoor. Uh, before I forget actually, um, downstairs, as you may or may not know, is a, is, a, is a car park, an NCP car park with other display parking, so do go and have a look around there and you can get to it by going out the door you came into the foyer turn left and there's escalators down so you don't have to go outside so i urge you to do that i haven't seen it yet i will do um this is richard porter uh my if you if you're aware, of, if you're aware of the podcast that we do the, the smith and podcast obviously you you'll, you'll you'll know him uh he's also you do other stuff as well i'm aware of uh authoring what do i do authoring i've gone blank uh, we write scripts for people. We write scripts for people. Yeah. And, um, so you should never go blank. <laughs> it's not written down, that's the problem. <laughs> is it very echoey? I feel like I'm about a hundred times louder than you. You are louder than me. Good. He is as okay. Am I've I? got a quieter voice I'll just do naturally. That. You have got a quieter yeah. voice naturally. Do you want this mic? And then you can be... Brilliant. Better. This is the... It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Um, so yeah, this is the running order of the day. Just, uh, and I'll probably do this a couple of times as, as more people come. Uh, 12.30 to 1.30, we are doing the car pub quiz for charity, which has been written by my friend here, Richard. Hello. And we're gonna do it exactly here. Um, and yeah, all the proceeds are gonna be going to mind for that. Um, so you, you, you pay, you can get your little card, your little quiz card from the merch stand there. And, um, Maybe you've brought one of those pencils that you stole from Argos a few years ago. I don't think they do them anymore. Don't they? No. Ikea oh, is the place for tiny Yes, pencils. Ikea is the place for pencils. So, yeah, i do that, and, then, and that'll probably take about an hour. Then we might do a little bit of a Q&A off the back of that if you want to ask Richard or I any questions. Hopefully you might not. And then um, the big chat, the idle chat, which is why we've brought the brown chairs. I think I can walk further away than I was. I'm, I'm too scared to use the rest of the stage in case I get feedback. Um, Four to five. That's exactly what happens if you go and see U2, isn't it? Not yeah, it's, it's the same. The same as U2. Probably. It's exactly the same as a U2 gig. Uh, I thought U2 have probably played in here at some point. I don't know. By the way, in case you didn't know, this venue did used to be the home of a, um, a, a British motor show um, off of the 80s. Did it start in the 80s? It did, didn't it? Hello. Yes, it did. His mic is quieter. I've Jay. changed mics. I'm doing this one now. So yeah, this used to be a motor, this used to be where a motor show was in the eighties and the maybe the nineties as well. It started in eighty six, I think, when they when they turned this into an exhibition centre. It's, it's beautiful. I grew up down the road from here, so this is always called the G Max. I don't care what they say on the front. Manchester Central, no, it's the G Max. Everyone knows. G Max. That. This is the G Max. It was the G Max Motor Show, the Manchester Motor Show in nineteen eighty six. Yeah. Um, Four o'clock till five o'clock is the idle chat. So the so the brown chairs and the, the terrible deck chair in the middle um, is because our special guest for this show is Colin Furs, um, friend of mine, um, very unusual inventing chap. Uh, he'll turn up. I think he's going to come about twelve. He wasn't going to bring any interesting cars, and he texted me about ten o'clock last night saying, "Can I bring my DeLorean?" I went, "Yeah, okay, as long as it doesn't break down on the way." Otherwise, I get a text from him saying, I'm in Buxton and it's smoking and I won't be there for the chat. OK, great. So, yeah, Colin's going to turn up and we'll push his car in. Um, and that, that chat is four to five. and We are filming that for the channel. So we'll, we, we'll do a bit of a setup on that. The show officially does close at 6 p.m. But after the idle chat, we will do a Q&A with Colin um, and, and with Richard as well. Other things to mention. 
apart from the downstairs car sh show, which you should have a look at. I want to thank all the ex exhibitors who have come along to support it. Fire Safety Stick here on the right. Uh, we've got Motive Culture over there, Anvil Workshop. We've got Ineos, um, Alpine, and a number of manufacturers who I have kind of pulled in some favours from. So at the back behind where I'm stood, no, in the front of where I'm stood behind the food stand there is where the new car launches are. On the side here, there's some of my project cars and my wife's. Um, to my right, to your left, car caves, then um, a barn find area, then projects of the people, and then we've got over there, we've got some more of my project cars, and then behind that, some, some of the sort of what we call specials. There's some RC drifting. You must take a look at the guys from RC Drifting. They're called um, Manji RC. Uh, they're amazing. Very interesting. I want to have a go. I don't think I'm going to get a chance. We've got a number of cars that have only just been launched or possibly not quite launched yet. In fact, there is the debut, the public debut of the MST Mark I over there, um, which is definitely not affiliated with Ford in any way. So have a look at that car. Um, we've got a number of other interesting vehicles uh, that we've managed to put everything really from a Mercedes Actros truck to uh, a Willis Jeep, uh, the Morgan CXT. There's there's loads. We we tried to get an eclectic mix of vehicles. That's the point of the late break show, which is why there's a postman Pat van over there and a two thousand eight hundred horsepower Aston Martin. So you know, a bit of everything. Uh, have I forgotten anything? Just going to look at my wife. Well, generally, um, <laughs> I'm all right. Okay, cool. Uh, there's the merch stand as well. Just thought I'd point that out as well. That was the most. That was like, meh. Yeah, yeah that physical was physical form. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. To be honest, actually, she's the one that's organised this show. I haven't. Uh, I've just sort of muddled along a bit. You know, like someone that offers to help, but their heart's not in it. Yeah. That. You're the person who walks into the kitchen when all the drying up's just. <laughs> Can I help? Yeah. You put those plates away. Oh, don't let it go. Yeah. Oh, I know. Well, one thing I wanted to mention is. A lot of cars in here tell, a, tell an interesting story, and they're not always as they seem. I would love it if you guys get a chance to ask some questions, talk to people. Uh, it's been a weird year and a half, getting on for, for two years, and we thought we'd try and do a show in maybe the most difficult year for exhibitions. So, talk to one another. Um, there's some fantastic cars. I'm, in fact, I'm looking at the DeLorean over there from Miles uh, that was featured on the show. And it's not an immaculate DeLorean, but it tells a fantastic story. And there's a lot of that going on in this hall. So, yeah, that's it. I think I'm going to stop talking and then we'll put some music on and you can go and enjoy the cars. But thank you ever so much for coming. So for those of you who couldn't come, I thought I'd start with the best car that you could see when you come in, which is, of course, the Volvo 850, which has been lowered, as some of you would have seen in the wee little video that Johnny posted onto his Twitter feed just last night, question mark. I have not had much sleep. Uh, let's see what else. Do I even need to say? Uh, one thing I'm gonna look at. Okay, I can see why my Enfield 8000 doors are you know, kind of modified. Um, I mean, the top bit is practically the same, except it's been on the end of the course, it slides down diagonally, and then it goes whoosh, and the door handles have been relocated, of course. On the back, uh, the block rear lights, but as I have the dome, so mine's better. But still, very pretty. Great big thing. Let's see, as I'm not. Oh, so it's a converted Range Rover. Soft top. Huh. Let's have a look, see. Okay, if I could have this interior, that uh, would be great. Thanks. And there's the front. And there's the little information sticker. Whee! Something more typical, but by comparison, it's a good job they've got labels on it because I'm not the expert when it comes to these things. So there you go, nice MX-5. 
And even I know that's not a standard engine. There you go, a nice long lasting look. Now we look at the interior. Whee! Okay, modern. There you go, there's your Jaguar. Okay, moving on. The only way to look at the Charger, really. In fact, I just... There. You really do expect it to just start growling. <laughs> My nephew, Theo, would love this, just because orange. Doesn't care that it'd be a Lotus or anything like that. He'll just think, oh, it's orange and it looks cool. Which, well, fair play. It does. But even I would be a wee bit um, embarrassed. And of course, you'll have a look at the engine. There you go. Oh, complete mistake. Beetle from the rear. Now that's the front, see? Lots of people. Pause if you want to read. Okay, my interior okay, my interior isn't as good as this even at the moment, but still. And you're the front. There we go, the pole stars on display. It's one. That's t'other. Yeah. And of course, you have a proper look inside. Not like we haven't seen these on many a car YouTube channel, but it's. There we go. Well, the Euro Truck Simulator 2 fans would love this, albeit I drive the Volvo FH16. Apparently you can get on board, but I'd definitely be sanitising my hands before and after. I will see if I can get on board and take a driver's view. Okay, here's the view. Uh, you can't see it, because I'm not the... Hang on. Let's put the flash on. There we go. You just about to see the bed now. And the top bunk up there. There you go. And the controls. And now you can see the driver's cab in a lot. Well, right, quite literally. Turn the flash off. And there's one final view. Okay, I find myself in the more modern stuff. Yeah. Oh. To be honest, this doesn't float my boat. I can't, modern stuff tends not to. But it yeah, might interest some of you. There you go. Oh, back as well. There you go. Let's move on to the next one. Mercedes, what do you do? Citroen. Fiat 500, at least. I can appreciate anyone who buys one of these. It's a little bit different. Little Fiat Bath, I have seen those on the road even in my area and really this is a 500e and anyone who buys this or even the petrol version it says I'm not boring I didn't just buy a common car I went to get at least an uncommon car possibly even 
rare. Okay, moving on. Oops, sorry, mate, take Okay, so it's the green jeep, and apparently you can get on board, get in these things, and I get into the, the um, Skoda? Question mark? I've dropped my put down my backpack somewhere. Did I, excuse me, did I leave my backpack in there? Yeah, the grey and black one? Yeah, it's the one. Oh, honestly, I can't trust myself these days. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Right, put my backpack back on. Right, take two. Okay, I like the door. <laughs> okay. The outside I'm not fond of, but inside... Okay. Pigeon-like very much. Ooh. <laughs> right. And let somebody else have a go. There you go, Macy. You can go in if you like. <laughs> oh yeah, the tyres are absolutely <laughs> epic, aren't they? I didn't notice them till now. Oh, good grief! <laughs> but real test. Oh, that's a nice sound. <laughs> It's definitely different, and you know, fair play to anyone who you know goes for something different. Yeah, they look like they've been drawn by an etch sketch. Like, yeah, <laughs> just, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'll leave you. <laughs> Take care. Okay, so it's the Fiat Bob, I'm sure many of you would have seen this, but I can go in, so I will. Big. Oh, it's not focusing. Now it is, just as it goes. Oh, the seats are very racing, I do not like. I can see why, though, um, people like this. They, I mean, I'm a bit tall, I'm gonna say. I'd have to adjust the seat and I can't be bothered. Okay, doors are a lot thinner. The seats are still just as... Ooh! Bus seats are more comfortable. Ah, uh, nope, nope. Electric, yep, brilliant, fantastic news, but... Ooh, those seats are uncomfortable. Another jeep thing is the Willow Sheep not going to get on board, it's vintage, I'll leave it be. Okay, let's have a look at some of these over here. Another orange car that Theo would love. There. Need input. This is, uh, wow, okay, I do not like that. Did it go into the back? No. Okay, that's good. Okay, I like the doors. I like touching the metal. Easy to clean. Seats. Hmm. Okay. The seats are a lot more comfortable than in the Fiat's. 
but I still wouldn't want to be in this for a long journey. You know, anything say 30 miles or more, forget it, which kind of defeats the object. So this is the Proceed. That is not a good name. What is this? The EV6. Yes, because it's such... I mean, okay, Proceed at least is a terrible name, but at least it's memorable. Everyone's favourite, very reasonably priced car of old. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just not cut out for the modern stuff. Or maybe I'm just spoiled by modern buses? Question mark? Okay, let's see what we see. Okay, lots more people. Eat. Oh, Rolls Royce, that'll probably be my only time to sit in one. Come back later. Mm. Well, you never know, I shouldn't judge by the cover, really. Suzu pickup, not a fan of pickups. Okay, that is nice. I like the feel of that actually. It's the first one I've actually like wanted to feel. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Seats. I mean, the steering wheel's in a horrible position for me. I'd have to adjust that. But I don't want to break anything. Can't afford it. Uh, <coughs> let's put the light on. Okay, that's not much help. Don't want to press the interior light, you know? Hello! Hey. You want to get in this one? This one? Okay. This is Yuki Jimmy. Just okay, yeah. Comfortable seats. This is what you want. I'll come back to that later. I want to try those seats. This is how I just got because I don't drive. It's all about comfort. Not as young as it used to be. Oh, comfy, 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 comfy. Hmm. Oh, I have got to go. Oh, it's okay, mate, you go on. Now this practically a unicorn car. In my own personal ratings, I'd put this as mythic. There you go. For the Suzuki. Is this the green? Is this another Jimmy? Yeah. Do you like, oh. I've... Okay, instant win. Yep. Oh, 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 I've spotted a car in the distance, but I will get to that. First thought is wrong. Yes? No? Peugeot. Ah. Couldn't make up my mind then. GTI, eh? Uh, the car that I've spotted I will get to in a moment. 
Yeah, yeah, Volkswagen. Okay, okay. All right, this is someone's uh, Fiat 500. Sport edition, eh? Okay, very uncomfortable. Another sporty thing. I'm sure there's plenty of people going, I know where that is. But that's not me. I have no idea. And to be honest, I don't care. Volkswagen Passat Estate? I do like the multiple colours. I like. Let's take a step back to appreciate this properly. I mean, if you don't like to use different colored panels, you may as well go whole hog and just accept it, celebrate it. So, I was going to say these, I didn't even have to look at the badge, I just know. Okay, apparently an S class of old. Well, I'm going to have to walk a fair bit away for this one. There you go. Da -da 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 -da. Long walk, long walk. And we're back to the rear. Okay. Uh, so, I already know modern BMW Mini, it's not your fault, but. Uh, Oh, I've spotted another car I want to go to. Um, okay. Volkswagen Golf Club Invertible, either it's been done. There we go. Now let's get a little bit closer to the dash. There we go. See a very familiar sticker, I expect to see that. I do appreciate when people keep these kinds of cars because, like with mine, it's one of those that just gets unloved for the most part. So it's nice to see a good, actually, to see a well preserved example that's used. And the season under restoration, I empathise. Right now, I'll go to one of the cars which I spotted. So this is a Volkswagen Passat that's been absolutely slammed. I just like that it's yellow, but to be honest, there you go. Then G, the last lot. That's about as much. I care, <laughs> but still, it's a decently kept example. Positive. Uh, defender can't be positive <laughs> anymore. My positivity has run out. Um, Sam Bluebird, do not see many of these. I like the white wheels. Hmm. Beamer. <laughs> yeah, if you can't say anything nice, <laughs> there's a jack. I do like the wing mirrors. That uh, is a proper Jaguar on XJS. Okay, now that is very nice indeed. Mm. But this is the one I spotted earlier. A magnet for Volvos. Proper height, maybe a little higher than usual. I mean, those tyres, wow. I look for the purple paint, I think that's fantastic. Oh, what? Wouldn't that be typical? Headlight wipers. I don't like those. Spend a lot more time here just going, Ooh. but plenty of other things to see. Okie doke, 
Uh oh, that's the whole thing I've seen earlier. Ah. Now, the Flint is a Triumph restoration um, company just a few miles from where I live. So I see plenty of these TR7s and others. But this one is in very good order, whereas the ones I tend to see are wrecks, which is disappointing because they're really quite nice looking cars. Is this the. I think it is. Yeah, this is Betty. So after all this time, when I've seen you being driven by hub nuts in Aussie land, here you are. In fact, I'm going to have to take a selfie. Very uncouth, I know, but uh, when am I going to get the opportunity? There's just some cars. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. Selfie time. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's back. And Boop. taking a photo of this would have not done these wee little Nahatsu any justice at all. It has the many stickers. Mm -hmm. There we go. Next. Okay, this is probably going to feature in like every single video ever as regards uh, the Lake Break Show Manchester. Yeah, it says Manchester. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to say the other one. So, okay, you've seen it on the YouTube site. The other thing that will be featured. And the other thing. Yeah, it's looks like one of the old ride-on toys. Outside or inside supermarkets. <laughs> oh, this is the old do. So, okay, there we go. Included it. Got to appreciate the bodywork. I might actually put the end field. It's just bare aluminium for a bit and just put some prime. No, well, it's all stainless steel, I know, but it just make me think I'll put my end field as all aluminium and then just put some primer down to protect it. Might be an idea. Run these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, I'll put the um, finger hogs. I'm going to have a look at those fire sticks. That was interesting. There we go, it had to be included. There we go. Just been to the fire safety stick stand, got a couple of flyers. First flyers of the day. Now to have a look, see at some other stuff. Oh, here's the Alpines. Okay. I know I've been knocking modern stuff for a bit, but. Um, Okay, and I like the purple as well. I do like purple anyway. But, oh, it's giving me ideas. Why not? I like them. I like them. Okay. Well, that would be interesting. I don't think. Um, Certain enthusiasts would love it if I'd done that to the Enfield heat. Citroen C4, see those fairly regularly. For the Volkswagen fans, let's be honest, it's a very good example. Just to look at it. It's like, yeah, okay, I get it now. I didn't quite get it before, but I do now. And I'm back at the front of the orange car, the Porsche that Theo will be after. Okay, it's handy you've got the information there, otherwise I would not have known. And there's the back. Too many people in tip there. Okay, I'm going to go 
look downstairs. Hang on, just there's some other tents I have not been to yet. I mean, the food stuff for me is too expensive, but there seems to be good options available. I mean, I thought the um, vegan pizza, the spinach, and I think mushrooms and peppers? Question mark. But okay. I might actually go to the grab and go because I didn't get any drinks on the way here. I just wanted to get here. As long as it's not hideous, you know. Christ. As I often say, let's see what they've not got. Okay, going down the escalators into the more older section of the railway station. I'll turn you around. Well, I've just up there, that's much better. But, anywho, there you go. That's all you're getting for the moment. So, so remember that the lens is there. Okay, I have to take a video. But it's one of the few interesting cars. And this is Lamborghini, but yeah. Let's see. Oh, another Master MX5. There we go. Let's have a look, see. What's this? I don't know. Midship runabout badge? That's cute. That's it, Marty. Oh, maybe that one is, I don't know. Um, anywho, at least it's quieter down here. But there's not much of an interest, per se. There's some old stuff, some not as common anymore stuff. But um, I kind of still wish this was a railway station, I really do. Okay, Let's see what's on this side. I do find it a bit of a struggle to. Um, justify staying all day which is what I was planning on doing we'll see not a lot of flyers <laughs> oh okay I have to stop this just caught my attention I mean <laughs> okay I like that that's very amusing. Uh, it didn't annoy me, it amused me, which is a good thing. I mean, I did spot the Volvo, but you know, actually, that's. Actually, 70? Yep. It's been a while. And it's face lifted um, front. Oh, here's something more interesting. I took a complete change attack. I had a 2015 M235R. So, yeah, it's here, it's similar to mine. In, you know, when, that, when it's done, at least. Ah. Brave person. Something more on the beige forums radar, I would say. Volvo C90 over there. The Suzuki Jimmy. Question mark. 
Yeah, I've never, not confidence, but yeah, it is. So that's another. Well, this one's, yeah. Uh, someone decided to try to Plymouth as a biggest bus to ambulance, which is I3. Uh, Audi e tron so there are plenty of electric car enthusiastic. There's some of those which I didn't record. Okay, this is worth that's for cars. I'll go this way. What I've seen from across the way, you do not see this kind of colour normally. Uh, on. Good on the person that um, put in the order. The colour isn't quite coming through on the phone. It's looking more green on the phone. It's actually more yellowish green. Well, I just had um, a small bottle of Coca-Cola and a wee little uh, plastic cups. All I could manage. I couldn't manage a big um, bottle of the stuff. It would have cost about the same. But um, behind me, yeah, there's a huge queue for all of that. Um, so, now, um, but before that, I just had a very productive talk with um, Johnny Smith as regards his Enfield 8000 and my own Enfield 8000. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's just, I just sent him an email. Um, and he will get back to me with a list of contacts, which will be extremely helpful. Um, and in fact, earlier in the video, I said that the stainless steel DeLorean, that it would be interesting to have iron field as all aluminium, bare aluminium. And Johnny came up with the same idea said that he wanted to do that with his, but he just didn't have uh, the courage. Um, but I believe I will, because not only will it be cheaper, I can always um, paint it red later. It saves me about um, at least 50 quid in record can paints um, and whatever else. You know, there's always extras for these things. But yeah, I'm just um, sat down, having a rest. Um, I've not really had much sleep at all. But then again, it could be worse. I could have been setting all this up. And uh, yeah. Um, oh, I feel like I'm rambling, as I am. Uh, I've pretty much recorded all the cars here. Uh, probably a couple of them that I missed. But enough that you all will get a decent uh, taste of it, of what's going on. Uh, I think there's some cars I still want to have a sit down in, um, have a little try out. There's a, you know, a decent amount of stuff to do, really, and there'll be stuff later on. I think I may leave and come back a little later on. Um, uh, get a proper bike to eat at a decent price. Um, well, I don't know it's a, an event, so you expect to pay more. But I know Manchester quite well, so I'll just nip to Greg's. Um, but the bakeries are available. So yeah, uh, that's about it. I've not uh, spotted Hubnut yet. I thought I did, but I didn't earlier when I was recording initially. I don't want to really disturb him because I know he's going to be with um, little hub nut or mini hub nut. Um, but I do want to see if I can at least thank him for his part in inspiring me to buy a car to restore. That's a little bit different. Because um, I still, I mean, I've always been interested in Enfield, I'll say always, since at least 2010. Um, and I spotted on eBay, which I've talked about before elsewhere. But it's going to be 2011, anyway. But him and other people, you know, wheelie dealers I've watched for years, as we all have, that's been an inspiration 
um, car throttle with Ethan and his um, BMW and a whole load of YouTube channels which I'm forgetting even ones which aren't to do with cars there's um, a guitar channel at uh, Rosa Stringworks um, it's of a guitar luthier in America repairing in detail uh, various guitars mostly acoustics of all kinds of vintages and even some uh, completely from scratch builds in fact he's retiring or has retired by now and he's building his own uh, last hurrah kind of guitar so very interesting to watch I'd recommend it you will find yourself watching three hours worth in one sitting see oh, I'm probably forgetting a whole load but yeah so I'm gonna stop rambling now and have another walk here around and yeah I will get back to you all There we go, I've just come back from my lunch after a bit of a walk around Manchester. Very familiar to me. But an engine which of course I'm not very familiar with because I don't work on engines. So there you go. Good look at that because the cover the cover was on earlier. Oh there we go. Just for nerdage. Question two, at the launch of the Range Rover Evoque in 2010, I was there, you were there. No, I wasn't there. Oh, weren't you? No, oh. NFI. At the launch that of the That was Ra the one where the director of design from Land Rover got in a strop because they made him walk on gravel. Really? Yeah, because he wears those stack heels and they were sinking in. He does wear platform shoes. At the launch of the Range Rover Evoque in 2010, which Spice Girl was announced as Land Rover's new creative design executive? At the launch of the Range Rover Evoque in 2010, which Spice Girl was announced as Land Rover's new creative design executive? It is rumoured that she got what she wanted, what she really, really wanted. Oh. Awful, I'm not even going to respond. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't. There's a gag about two becoming one in there, I'm sure. But I, I was going to say Zigga Zig It's Bella, the only Spice the Girl song that's worth talking about, I'm just going to say that. To become one, just for that action, in fact. Huh. You do it. It's really quite satisfying. Anyway, question three. The McLaren F1 was designed by the man who would later oversee the Rover Streetwise. Can you name him? We haven't got a Rover Streetwise here. We were gonna have one. But uh, unfortunately, Chris Pollitt from uh, Car and Classic couldn't make it in the end. But uh, it's here in spirit, Chris. We're recording this, so I'll send you that, that clip. So we, the McLaren F1 was designed by the same man who would later oversee the Rover Streetwise. What's his name? Totally not just recording for ideas for the Enfield. There we go. Um, that's a good question. Ah, they've got a Delta Q charger as well. I'm looking at one on eBay. Had to record this, I didn't see this earlier. I have come to the conclusion that I like lurid colours. standard of minis here. I actually didn't record anything on it, so I thought I would. It was most, to be honest, most minis need to be a bit cold. But this one, uh, the blue isn't coming through on the phone. It's much more of a greenish blue. I'll have to correct that in post. 
Does that change anything? No. Yes, it's showing it's just blue, but it's really uh, teal. Right. Yeah, it's showing it's blue on both in the photos in real life and on the phone. Yeah, very close. You should just be able to read that if you pause it. There we go. And... View from the Polestar 1. Definitely not something that you'll be doing when driving. Of course it's a left-hand drive, but uh, it's nice and brightly lit in here. You don't need the flash. And what I like, well, I know it's a little thing, Pulling it and you get a little bit of resistance at the end, then a little bit of resistance coming out and then smooth through, then it gets really boop. And I was saying to one of the staff is that um, I'd been in the Fiat, in fact, I'll just swap the cameras. Yeah, I'd been in um, the Fiat, uh, the sporty seats, uh, mm, whereas these seats are firm but not uncomfortable. You wouldn't be tired after a long journey. We've all had those experiences, whether you be driver or passenger. Mm. Yeah, I'm just feeling everything. Just, mm, 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 mm. Touch, touch, touch. Okay, that's all for now. Had to record this when it wasn't up earlier. That's the stereo again. Then the alarm in the background. Oh, that is a lovely interior. I can tell with the steering wheel, it's very similar to the Enfield. Let's see, the door cards. Hmm. Unlike the others, and I've looked at all the other minis here, I like the rear end of this. This is pretty. The others are okay, but uh, this one's pretty. Mm. There we go. Well, we've all basically just been kicked out because it is, um, well, went past uh, closing time. Uh, I did get to ask a uh, question in the Q&A, hopefully that will show up on the YouTube later, at some point in a few days. Um, I even managed to even get a word in edgewise, which was amazing, uh, considering their talk a bit, and I'm talk a bit as well. Um, but yeah, so just out of the GMX, Manchester Central, which to be honest as a railway enthusiast I should call it Manchester Central, but uh, well, such is life. Anyway, I'm headed home. It was raining, I put my hood up, I don't really think it rained too, and now it's going dark, so I will end this video here.